All right, guys, this is my Kelty Noah's 12. Uh, Kelty makes this product. It's a, in my opinion, it's a really good tarp. A lot of people think it's too heavy to carry backpacking. I don't. I've carried it. Uh, we carried it 30 miles over, you know, a few days trip on the Appalachian Trail. Um, I like the tarp. I like the way it's built. I, I like how tough it is. Uh, I like how how many options you have when you're pitching your tarp. Now you can see here I have uh, again a continuous guy line, and you see here how it's not centered between the trees. Well, um, I I did that on purpose so I can show you here in a few minutes how easy it is to go ahead and center that up. So I call my ridge line. I call it my modified Hanson continuous ridge line. And the reason I call it my modified Hanson, I don't, uh, Derek Hanson came up with the concept. Derek Hanson wrote the Ultimate Hang, has the Ultimate Hang website. He came up with the concept for this type of ridge line with the deep V's on each end that go around the trees. Um, and then I just simply adapted it to what I use. So on this end, I have a soft shackle attached to the tarp. It goes around the tree and you see the V there. The ridge line goes across the top. The ridge line is on top of the tarp, you can see. Then it passes through this continuous loop here around the tree and back to the Dutch Fleas hardware. And that's uh, it's very simple. It's a very simple setup, very relatively inexpensive setup uh, compared to some. Just the one piece of hardware and then some, you know, I spliced all the rest of it myself. Uh, so that's my modified Hanson continuous ridge line. All right, guys, so I want to show you about how I, I center up the tarp. Um, once you have it up and ready to go, remember I have this Dutch flea here, and I hope you can see that. Um, I'm also trying to work with my new camera here that I'm not used to using, but at any rate, uh, I have to, you have to, first you have to un, undo it, which is really simple as you can see, and then just loosen it up a little bit. Now to center it, you can see as I pull on this line, the tarp slides more towards the center. So once you have it centered where you want it, then you pull it tight again, all right? And you can see it's hooked, this little hook here, that's called the mouth of the flea, okay? Fleas, they're Dutch fleas. Even though there's only one, the name of it is F-L-E-A-Z. Uh, you'll see that on the website. At any rate, this is the mouth of the fleas. And then once you have it as tight as you want it, I like, I like to crank it down really good to get it nice and tight. Once you have it as tight as you want it, then you come around through the antenna, okay? So through the mouth, around through the antenna to hold it, and then you place it underneath the wing. Once you lock it down underneath the wing, it's done. It's not going anywhere. Uh, that wing just pinches that line, and it doesn't let it go anywhere. Now, if you want to, you can... I've never had to do this, you know? If you want to, you can throw a little uh, slippery half hitch in here to uh, you know to make sure it doesn't go anywhere like I said I've never found that necessary uh, you know but for peace of mind if somebody wants to do that they can throw that in there then it's just a matter of pulling that out and then undoing it so um but it's very easy to set up uh, I like the fleas I like how adjustable they make the tarp I like how easy it is to uh, to undo and and stow away so that's it. That's that's how that's my ridge line. Okay, so I wanted to go out staking out the tarp. Uh, as I said, this Kelty Noah's 12. Um, there's multiple ways to stake it out. Right now, I'm just simply going out from the four corners, staking the tarp out, uh, and I have one left to do. And I want to show you the method I use on doing that. Um, so basically, all I do is I have a piece of cordage here. It, whichever kind of cordage you use, that's fine. Uh, this is a piece of uh, Dyneema and I have it larks headed onto the ring that's provided for this purpose. There's a bug there. So, uh, and then I, then basically I just Marlin Spike hitch it out on the, onto the stake. 
So that's easy to do. You, just do. you do it just like you do your toggle for your hammock. You go out to the appropriate length that you want to do. Then you fold up, bring that back around and through. Your stake goes through there. Your stake's basically the, the toggle in this situation. And it's on there. So then you just pull it out tight. Pull it out tight. Stick your stake in the ground at an angle. You want it at about a 45 degree angle. Stick it in there as far as you can with your hands. And then just use your toe and push it in the rest of the way to set it. And your tent staked out. And uh, that's all I do. Now there is one alternative to staking and that's using, uh, using something else. So <laughs> other than a stake. You know you put the stake in it gets dirty it's hard to get the mud off or whatever. Now here's what I've done with the Eno. I found a rock that was already here, right? And I just tied that to the rock, and the rock holds it in place. You can use trees, rocks, roots, you know, whatever's available. And that avoids, you know, that avoids using stakes. So stakes are really, in my opinion, you know, they're the last option if you can't find anything locally. Okay, so um, just real quick, when you're getting the stake up out of the ground, it's no, you know, there's no magic to it. Now normally it would be set all the way down in the ground, but I didn't do that this time. At any rate, you just pull the line, pull the stake out of the ground, it's pretty easy. You pull the stake out of the marlin spike hitch that you, that you tied around it. And then, that's the beauty of the marlin spike hitch, it's gone. So, that's all there is to that.